Over the last week I've been working on a new project. Games like Octopath Travel have always fascinated me, so I decided to recreate one. The first step was to create the movement of the 2D character within the 3D world. I want to make a short about it, so for this video we will skip the technical side. Once this was done, I added a camera that always followed the player. Now that our character can move, he needs to express himself, so we should create a way for the protagonist to talk to the player. To create our dialogue cloud, I use the Allen Devs tutorial, so a thanks go to him. The code to make it work is quite complicated, so I have added some comments to help you understand better. The alpha is used to make the text invisible, to simulate that each letter are appearing one after the other. K-Max is the maximum delay between each letter. The canvas group refers to the canvas and is used to make the cloud appear and disappear. Hope you can see my code is simpler than the Alliance video, because I didn't use animation for my dialogue cloud. Moving on, there are two main functions, show and close. These functions do exactly what their name says. Attention must be paid to the numerator. Imagine the numerator like an update function. What happens here is essentially the graphic representation of the text and give us the illusion that the text is begin written before our eyes. After all this code, this is the final result. Now that our character can talk, he needs some things to interact with. I decided to use an asset taken from the internet and add it to the game. As you can see, the textures are missing, so now we are going to add them manually. And this is the final level complete. As you can see, there are some problems with some texture. Uh, I even went on the website for see what the problem could be. It's actually a bug because in the project that I download, the texture are totally fine. So I think it's uh, my problem, but I'm going to fix it uh, in another video. For now, the project is complete. There are obviously some error, such the texture not applied well, or the character that is too small compared to the object in the room. But we can solve this problem later in the future in the next video. And I think this for today is all. And we see together, like every Friday, with a new video. Bye guys!